the city and county now have updated guidelines governing local historic districts and landmarks. We have local historic districts that are uh, designated areas of significance for their historic architectural or uh, cultural importance. They've been designated by the city council. In addition to the seven local historic districts in the city, there are approximately 80 local historic landmarks in the city and county as well. Uh, instead of being neighborhoods or areas where there's a historic character to be preserved, our landmark properties are really the ones that are the most important to preserve for their architectural significance, um, their association with people that are important in our past or certain events in our past. Um, and can be also uh, for their uh, potential archaeological uh, findings on the site. The City Council approved an update to the document that regulates both the districts and landmarks after a public hearing during its February 1st meeting. The Historic Properties Local Review criteria govern changes to any landmark or property within a local historic district. And the criteria that are established in this new document are those that are used to determine whether the properties uh, the changes being proposed to those properties are in keeping with the overall historic character of the district. The planning criteria needed to be updated because they were previously unclear or didn't cover a wide enough range of modifications that could be done to a property. We undertook, sort of created a list of issues over the years um, and this was an opportunity to address all of those issues um, as well as to consolidate the criteria that were previously in individual preservation plans for each district into one holistic document that in addition to having the criteria listed um, also have sort of a understanding of how you go through the process so that it's a little bit more accessible and transparent to folks. In addition to approving the changes to the criteria, updated preservation plans were also adopted for each of the local historic districts. In most of the districts, the primary changes to these plans included removing the previous criteria, referencing the new criteria document, reassessing all the properties in the district for their historic or non-historic status, and updating various references that were simply outdated. The city's seven historic districts include Cleveland Street, Downtown Durham, Fayetteville Street, Holloway Street, Moorhead Hill, Trinity Heights, and Watts Hillendale. For more information about these districts and the updated criteria and preservation plans, visit the City County Planning Department's homepage on the city's website.